What's up guys, Timmy Goo here and welcome back to another video. So today we are here on my main account today inside of Knights of the Dragons and I am actually quite excited. I've been waiting for quite a while to actually do this. Actually, this is my first time ever. It's probably taking me a year. I know it's kind of embarrassing as I play almost daily this game, but you guys will understand why. You see the starter pack over here. Get ahead, start on your quest against the Dark Prince with the help of this starter pack. Pro it's probably not starter, but still, but still, but still. If you're starting, you probably won't need 20 silver coins. But I think this is one of the best packs, if not the best one. You guys can argument that on the comments below. But basically, I think that for $20, this is Canadian dollars. So basically, 20 US equivalents to 28 Canadian. But basically, 20 silver coins, 50,000 gold. Nobody gives a crap about that. I don't know why they even do that. And the rings and amulets, fusion boost, I guess it's still pretty decent but why I want to do that is because of this armor I love this armor basically my most recent one already 10k stats pretty cool almost 1000 health but we're not quite there yet we're super close but we're not even a thousand man come on that sucks that sucks man I just I just need a, a thousand you guys understand why basically what we'll do today I'll completely level up a shadow forge basically I'll do this one 10 out of 10. I'm only missing 4. And I'll also just go on the race over here. What am I saying? Yeah. I'll completely finish those. It's going to be costing me 9. Kind of expensive. And then the other one is going to be costing me a bit more. I thought it would be giving me some HP. I don't know why I said 1000, but it's not even going to be giving me some HP. At least it's going to be leveling up and especially giving us the stun ability this is why we want it this is why i specifically want to do it to use it for raids because it's definitely going to be useful also in the arena and different stuff but i think it's most useful in the raids so as you can see none of my armors are completely done completely leveled up this one the crystal pine one is completely leveled up the armors but the rings and amulets it's not even level 99 it's, and that one's level 90, so none of them is completely maxed out. So guys, here today is going to be my first time completely maxing out in armor. And if we go back over here, enhance my beautiful armor, you see, I have six silver coins that I, that I actually got from the current guild war that is currently ongoing. I think I had one or two, but I got four additional. So let's do this. It is completely leveled up the armor, 15% stun on it. That is quite beautiful. I just need the rings and amulets. If we go over here, we see the current guild war ongoing. So if we look at the rewards, I also got some sentinel marks. So the most recent crafting material, as you see on the bottom right. Only only missing one that I'm going to be getting from the rewards. So at the end of this, I'm going to be able to craft a new earth and earth. So pretty excited about that. Don't have a rings and amulets set to it, but I guess it's still better than another season, like season one or so. But, oh well, basically, I think I got, yeah, I, I got five from this one. 50,000! Definitely a big way. One of the best ways to get some silver coins. If you're looking for some, probably gonna cost you 150 gems or so to actually get five silver coins. But, that's good, but it's not enough. We are missing around 20 or so. This is why this pack comes in hand. Normally, I don't like to spend on silver coin, but glad... To have my partners at misplay. By the way, if you guys didn't see the, the one of the last videos, the link's gonna be in the description to how to get free gems. Basically, just just check it out, misplay. Freaking awesome. Just waiting for purchase. I don't know why it's kind of slow right now. You are all set, team gamer. All set. Thank you. Transaction is complete. And as you see, we just got twenty silver coins. So that is actually, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, man. I just kind of a lot of money. Let me know what you guys think about that. I don't know, man, but I think it's going to be worth it to completely, completely, completely level up in armor. Some people might say it's not worth it because the armor is not crazy, crazy good. It's not like the latest season plus version with the rings and amulets, but it is still the last Guild Wars. So it's still, it's still pretty good, okay? <sighs> Let's go enhance the ring. This one over here, one out of five. So the current stun is 3%. And, oh, whoa, we are actually increasing the HP. Are we going to get a thousand? I don't know, but the stun is now going to be at 
So we have an increase of about 2% or so. Not that much, but still better than nothing. And more HP, that is always appreciated. 9 coins! I hope that's expensive. Just doing that, it's probably like, I don't know, 10 bucks. Ah. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be worth it. Hopefully you guys leave a lot of likes. <laughs> I don't know. At least one book per like. I don't know. Okay. Amulet is completely maxed out. I don't know why, but earlier I didn't see the HP. I only saw the attack. Either way, I'm, I'm just lost, man, because it's kind of late. It's, it's almost midnight. But I wanted to make this video because I had a lot of technical difficulties when I got with my computer the last few days. Now everything's fixed. So that is pretty cool. But as you see, completely maxed out. 1,015 HP. 8,000 defense. And 10,600 attack stats, which is actually... It's my best one. It's quite good. I'd say out of all all, all the armors, it's probably a 8.5 out of 10. So I'd consider that a pass. Pretty good. Especially compared to all of the other armors. You can't even compare it to maybe this one. But apart from that, wow. Just incredible. I'm just really happy to have this armor. Let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think about it? Do you think it was worth it or not? I think it is. Definitely. Thumbs up. I'll just see how much do I have left. I'll just go to a random one. I have four. Okay. Four silver coin left. Not that great. But either way, I don't really need some right now. Maybe for the next armor, as you guys see. Well, this video, the guild was already over when you guys are watching this. I'm just recording some stuff in advance because, as you guys know, with school during the week. Kind of busy. Like, Monday, I got school from, like, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then I got some work and some stuff for Tuesday. So, pretty busy there. Don't know how I'm going to be doing the Guild War recap, so Guild War recap might go to the next day. I don't know. I'll just see how my schedule works, and I'll try to figure something out. But basically, 31 million points so far. Our goal was to go top 10, actually. But once the war was, I don't know, maybe 8 eight or 9 hours in, I said, like, we were so close. Like, it, it's actually pretty close between rank 2 and rank 4. Only 10 million. Bef before the gap was really smaller, was only maybe 2 or 3 million. So I said, why not try? Why not try to go top 2? We're 3 for a while, but then the, the Dark Dragons, like, took the lead. And now we're, and now we're like, uh, 7 million in lead. So we wanted to try top 3, but they didn't land. But our initial goal was to go top 10. So having 31 million points... And then the top 10 is 15 million. As you see, there's a bit of competition uh, below. So if we had like 15, 20 million points right now, I'd kind of be scared. But since we all did more points than we needed to, I'm pretty happy. And I think it's just, it's it's securing us, man. I'm recording this Saturday. And actually, dude, there's like more than like a day and a half left. And I'm not even going to play, okay? Kind of mad at not getting top 2. But dude, it's guaranteed top 10. Guaranteed. And also getting a Earth Earth armor, which is pretty good. I'm gonna be having two Earth Earth armors, one with the Rings and Emulus and one without it. And I also have my new one that is Earth and Fire. So I got offered a top two push for the uh, air raid that is going soon from one of my buddies online. And I really hope I can join it. I have 1,100 gems. I'll try to do video offers and different stuff like that. Don't wanna spend too much right now. So I hope I can do it with crazy armors. I don't know if I'm just rambling on. I'm 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 gonna stop to rambling because I think this is just I don't know man. I, I don't want I don't want to waste your your time no more. Oh god, I don't I don't think I can do this. That's right. I even though it's a crazy armor, can I do it? Can I do it? Actually, <laughs> it couldn't even do it. Okay, it couldn't even do it. All right. Remember, I powered attack a sentinel. I wasn't even even able. <laughs> God, I wasn't even able to beat his second guy. Even though this is gonna be it, guys, for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button because that is always appreciated. Thank you guys all for watching this video. Kind of ended on a bad note, so can I at least beat the GM? Of course, he is stripped. Of, of course, he's gonna be stripped. Like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome videos. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.